Hi guys and welcome back. For today's video, I remembered how miserable I was when I was leaving. Like I used to check YouTube like all the time just to see any videos that told me like what all to pack in the huge bags that we are allowed to take with us. To anybody who doesn't know, we're allowed to take two bags of 23, 23 kgs. and then a cabin bag as well as a handbag so four bags in total that time i used to like look up on youtube they used to give me like checklists of what all to get in the us and since i've been there for like a semester now i kind of know what i want there is not like a perfect checklist like once you go there you're going to realize what all you need and then the next time you come back to india you can like get those things with you for this video i basically created a checklist for um what all you should be packing for the us as an international student and this checklist by the way i feel is so important because like i've been there i know what is something that you'd really want to carry with you the checklist is in the description but please watch the video before looking at the checklist because i haven't included quantity and i have not like explained why you need it some people might not need um that item so without any further ado we can get into the checklist oh by the way guys please like this video before we start i was literally sitting on my laptop for like an hour making this checklist for you all so I'd really like to see your like on this video for that effort. <laughs> you can also subscribe in the meantime. I have given it the title International Students What to Pack Checklist by in my name Garki. The first thing that I've added is documents. I got this video idea from a comment. They asked me to tell them what all documents to carry when they are going to the US. So the first thing that I'm including in this video are the documents that you'll need. Obviously, you'll need your passport. and then you'll need your i20 i20 by the way comes after you're admitted to your university if you don't have it yet you need to wait for it but you will you will have it when you're leaving for the us for sure one important thing about documents is that please ask your university's admissions department they will know the best and they will guide you through all of the process but this is just like a brief you need to carry these documents kind of list so we can go through that the school school transcripts and then latest leave in certificate that's what i carried i don't i didn't really need it but i carried it just in case um i carried the service fee receipt very very important um then the covid vaccination certificate don't really ask for it but i just carried it in case right now the restrictions are up like you need nothing you can just travel you know Oh maybe you need the certificate then. I think you need the certificate and I'm pretty sure like everybody is vaccinated so safer side just carry the certificate. I have included USA passport size photos and the size for that is 2 by 2 inches. I have included that because passport size photos there are really expensive. So if you just take them from here it's going to be really really convenient. So consider doing that. Next we move on to clothes. Very basically the biggest bag that I had was filled with clothes. You know those big bags like there's this huge bag and there's a medium bag, there's a small bag. These are three bags that I took and the smallest one obviously I used it for cabin. The biggest bag was like fully covered in clothes. That was my mistake number 1. One. one thing about the US is that everyday students who come to college they don't dress up. Like they just don't. When I left here I was like I'm going to dress so pretty every day i'm going to look like my prettiest self but nothing happened everybody was so casual I feel like you'll catch on that lifestyle a little bit so i'm just saying that it's very casual there so if you want to quote and quote fit in then you can just carry casual stuff carry shorts for girls like crop tops whatever and then a few jeans few as in like 3 to 4 jeans and then you can carry shorts to your liking um nightwear at least 3 is important undergarments like a lot of those you're not going to do your laundry in the middle of the week you're going to do it at the end of the week on weekends so you need like a good bunch that can last the entire week so plan accordingly i literally took like 10 underwears <laughs> and i was going and 
it was the best decision that I made. I included a formal wear in here because even when it was just my first semester, since I was a business major, I had to go to like this event where there were like companies gathered. I could take like headshots, professional headshots and stuff. So it's good to have like a coat and a, you know, like the formal stuff. Just one is good for now. And then I included two party wears because let's face it, it's college, you're going to attend parties. Indian wear because there's going to be a Diwali event on your campus, like for sure. I included sweatpants. Everybody owns a sweatpant and seems like such a comfortable outfit and it can go with anything. Since I was there for like the first semester, I can tell you all what I felt like I was missing out on. So this was definitely something that I was missing out on. Next. I put hoodies and zip ups, two of each I think, staple just really nice good quality hoodies and zip ups. If it's like a little cold, for me, I, I'm in Texas San Antonio but it gets really cold at a point, like once it was minus one degrees and I was dying. There was like cold air going in my ears and it was just so bad and, I, and that time I saw this one girl on my team wear this headband around her head, it covered her ears and she was so comfortable so I'm taking two of those this time. <laughs> a warm jacket for sure. Wherever you are, just take a warm jacket. If you're in a hot state, then you can just wait and take it there. Like, it doesn't make a lot of difference. But a nice warm jacket is a must have, I think. Gloves if you want to. And if you're going to work out, because every school is going to have a gym. If you are into work, working out or something, or if you plan to work out, then workout sets, just like two or three. Coming to footwear, this is also another mistake that I made. I took so many and I wore none of those. You need two running shoes. Comfortable, very nice. Two running shoes that will last you for a lifetime. Two comfortable slippers if you want. Like really comfortable, good quality slippers. It will wear all the time. If you want like obviously one fancy footwear that you can wear over your, you know, sundress or something. And one formal shoe, sandal or heel to go with your formal wear. I carried a black heel and that can go with any formal wear. So that's what I was wearing. I also put socks in this department. Carry a lot of socks, I believe. Um, Carry like 10 pairs. Next. Everyday toiletries. The less the better I feel because there you're going to get a lot of things as well and you get like really good stuff in Walmart. So I've put razors. I took a lot of those. I took extra toothbrushes as well. I'm going to take one more pack with me because I keep changing. It's really expensive there. So toothpaste. I think that's also quite expensive there. I just took one last time. I'm going to take one more this time and I'll be good. Last time something I didn't take was dishwash liquid and then a scrubber. That was a huge mistake because I cooked in spring break and... I didn't feel like doing dishes because I didn't have the right equipment for it. I also took um, hair oil. It's expensive there. Just little bottles and you'll be fine. I put sunscreen because I play tennis but Texas heat is crazy and everyone should be using sunscreen there. If you're going to like a hot climate, you can take sunscreen from here or just buy there. Either works. I took two face washes. Um, moisturizer for face and body is kind of a necessity I feel because the weather sometimes gets really dry and keeping that, I'm telling you, it's a life changer if you don't use it. Deodorant, maybe two or three bottles from here. Comb, just like two or three combs. I would say soap and shampoo for the first few weeks. Have a, a detergent powder or detergent liquid. Side note to that is don't carry a lot of white things because they'll think it's drugs and you're smuggling them. Let's move on to stationery. We've got standard pens, pencil, sharpener, eraser. You need a metal scale. Highlighter or marker is obviously up to you. If you use them, take them. Pasted notes. Is it pasted or posted notes? When I checked in Walmart, it was super expensive and they were always running out of those. If you use them, take it from here. I would recommend that. A calculator is a must, I feel, because in your accounting or your math classes, you're going to need that. And I had a really good calculator at home, but I had to buy from there, which hurts. Notebooks are optional, but I did take like six of them. I'm good for like a solid one more year now. But if you don't have space again, they're pretty cheap there as well. So I took a stapler and some like stapler pins as well. You're going to need binders for 
some of your classes binders do take up a lot of space i would rather buy it there than here buying stuff for the dorm slash apartment i said bed sheet just one and then a pillowcase just one because i didn't take that and i kind of regret it i took that set and the bed sheet wasn't of the best quality i don't think you should bring a blanket because it takes up a lot of space one and you can just buy one there so definitely take towels with you i took two use them both one for body and one for hair so that's where my mind's at but you do use rug for your floor or like another bed sheet and the blanket set and then pillows dust bin dust bins two dust bins are a must one for your room one for your washroom um hand wash dispenser are some things that you must buy at the walmart let's move on to electronics universal adapters <laughs> obviously you need them no brainer i would recommend carrying two really good quality ones i also carried a power bank because my phone gets discharged at really random times this laptop i got in the us because i've heard that it's like cheaper there it definitely was cheaper there so if you want a new laptop you can buy from there it's cheaper Okay, I have a few extras here. The first one is handbags, as in like purses and stuff. I took like one huge purse, and then I took two like mini purses, just like sling bag kind of purses, and then I took like a very small wallet kind of purse. Those are the four purses that I took. That's kind of a lot, actually. I included a backpack for school because, like, obviously you need something to put your books in. Oh my God, nail clipper is so 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 important because I don't think I found one there. I think don't forget to put one in your bag. Hair accessories for guys like gel or whatever for girls like clips and stuff that you all can figure out. Makeup if you use makeup, skin products if you use any, mask use and throw and then cloth made as well because that's what I did. But I usually use the use and throw so. And scissors, the size scissor and then a small one. I use eyebrow scissor for my eyebrows so. and then the big scissor for cutting things bottles two of those maybe if you want to like store water like fill up the water and then store it in your room that's what you can do first aid with basic medicines but do not forget your doctor's prescription a needle and a thread prescription glasses are really expensive there so if you have glasses then consider taking two to three pairs with yourself and the last list on our Very nice checklist here. We finally made through almost food slash cooking list. We have favorite snacks for something you want to munch on. I took banana chips. I'm going to take bhujia and then I'm going to take the blue lace and I have kitchen appliances. Just carrying a pressure cooker for sure and then a frying pan for sure. And if you need a kadai, then you can. Uh, Take that with you. That is obviously if you're cooking there. Cutlery. That is spoon, forks, knives, the potato skin peeler, um, the big spoon for like stirring stuff, and then we have plates, bowls, and glass for drinking water. That can be bought in the U.S. as well. And then you get like really nice plastic Tupperware kind of plates, bowls, and glasses. So you can consider buying it in the U.S. as well if you want. Very important spices. Maybe don't carry like a hefty amount, but like just enough. And that is all for the list. And you're all packed now. The nicest thing about this list is you can literally just like print it and then just tick off all the things that you get. And if you don't want something, just rub it off with a pen or something. And if you want to add something, you can add it on the side. You all are welcome. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. I will definitely answer them. And if you have any video suggestions, please tell me because I am not creative. <laughs> please tell me when I go to the US. Also, what all should I make? I have this video that I made from when I was traveling um, before for the spring semester. I am going to. Have it in the description and then a link on the screen if you guys want to check it out. That's it for today's video. Please like it for all the effort that I took. Subscribe to my channel because there's so much more to come and you can follow me on my. This is the first time I'm plugging my Instagram. You can follow me on my Instagram also. Ah, this is so funny. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye then. Good morning.